our next senior is Alyssa Erickson. Woo! <laughs> Alyssa, today she's going to be walking with her awesome dad, Kendall. We love that man. And her, the, her mom, Sandra, and her brother, Camden. She's from Northern Virginia, and she's gradu graduating with a bachelor's in nursing with a minor in family life. After graduation, she'll be doing her nurse residency in Southern California, whoa, at the Children's Hospital to gain an experience before going on to get her family nurse practice degree. All right, next senior is Madeline Postma. Woo! She's going to be walking with her parents, Mike and Shirley Postma, of course, and then she's from Southern Jordan, oh, sorry, South Jordan, Utah, guys. Ah! All right, and then her major is biology. And after rugby, she uh, plans to attend medical school in 2025 and hopes to become a um, orthopedic surgeon. Okay, great for you. I love that. Period. All right. All right. So the next person we have is Natalie Larson. Woo! She's going to be walking with her husband, Parker Larson, and then also her parents, Jennifer and Steve Maroney. Um, okay, so then let's see. Yes, her husband. She's from Provo, Utah here, local girl, neuroscience major with a minor in psychology. And after, she does plan to go to grad school and hopes to get her master's and PhD in neuropsychology. Then open up her own clinic, guys, in neurofeedback therapy and then PRTMS treatment for those who suffer from TBIs, concussions, and other brain injuries. And she hopes to play semi-pro soccer again starting in the summer. Whoa. In the UPSL and in the WPSL while also going to graduate school. Whoa, she's crazy, guys. She's crazy. All right. Next senior, we have Pip or Brinley Orr. Yeah, she's actually about to get married. She's walking with her fiance, Josh. Hey, give her a hand. And then she's from, actually, she's our Canada girl. She's from Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada. She's majoring in elementary education and minoring in uh, French. So that's awesome. After graduation, I am planning to get, she, oh, she is planning to get married, sorry, uh, and follow Josh around to his master's program. Awesome, guys! Woo! That was Pip. All right, next up, we have a powerhouse over here, Michaela Comer. Yeah! She's going to be walking with her mom, Julie Comer, and her husband, Will, J Jade Wilkins. Sorry, actually, Max's last name is Wilkins now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Southfield Brigham Young University. And uh, for the, today's matchup is between Life University and Brigham Young University. Um, I'm here, I'm Tom Wonga, and I'm here alongside Letty Hingano. And we'll be calling the game today, and we are so excited about this matchup. Uh, Letty, how do you feel? Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm excited, especially to watch, uh, to have Life University here with us um, here in Utah and just to watch uh, some good rugby. Yes, today will be a, an awesome game of rugby. Uh, it's c quite cool today, um, but we, we are ready for, for a great game. Um, this, is a, this is a good matchup. Uh, with the D1 Elite Rugby in uh, the USA Rugby Union and this collegiate uh, rugby is the highest level of uh, women's rugby in the United States. And these two teams, uh, BYU and uh, Life, uh, it looks like they've met about three times uh, in the, the history of the um, um, of the uh, of the games, of the college games here in uh, in uh, in BYU, and uh, life has has won two of those, and uh, uh, BYU has won uh, one, and uh, we are excited for this matchup because uh, life coming off a big win last week, 
against Lindenwood uh, University. That was big, Letty, right? Oh, yeah. Like, I, I honestly, I don't even remember the last time Lindenwood has, has lost the game. So this must have been a big upset for them. But, yeah, I, I heard that Life had a really great game against them. And this will be an interesting matchup today for, for BYU. Yes. So 24 to 19. 24 to 19 was the score last week between Life and Lindona, Lindonwood. And also BYU, uh, Letty, uh, coming off um, a, a close one against Central Washington, yeah. 22 to 20. That was the final score. Yeah, that was a close matchup. It was a, definitely, I, I believe the, the, right, the girls have learned a lot from that game and the they're hoping to, to, to apply into this game against Life. Yeah, so, uh, this is historical. I, I remember, lady, back in the uh, first time that BYU played live was in 2017. We uh, BYU won that one on a close margin. Uh, it was down to the wire. So, so we expect uh, a game today. If if both teams uh, bring their their best games today, we will uh, be able to see uh, a, a good college game on um, here on Southfield, in the beautiful Southfield right uh, under the Wasatch Mountains in Provo, Utah. And we'll, uh, yeah. we'll just tune in for the, uh, for the national anthem. And looks like the, the players are, are ready for the national anthem, Letty. OK.
Okay, now we're going to say a quick prayer. We ask you that you bless both teams that we can avoid injuries and that we can stay safe. And can you bless us to show the love that our hearts for us and love each other. And we give you thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Play by play and doing the color commentary today. Um, it's a great day for rugby today, Letty. Yeah, uh, we're getting a little bit of rain. You know, they say usually rain is a is a good sign. It's a good sign. A good uh, omen. Good sign for rugby. Uh, Letty, explain a little bit the feeling that uh, these players are, uh, um, are experiencing right now. Um, you know, some of them, you know, playing for the first time at Southfield, and it's a big. Uh, uh, big event for them, a big moment for them to showcase their talents. Um, you know, take take us back to your days of playing. Oh my gosh! And, and <laughs> college rugby and and also club. Well, I mean, I remember when 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 it was just club. We didn't have this this opportunity to play on a beautiful field like this. Um, but it's just amazing to see how much women's rugby has grown so much over the years, and it's not just the it's, and it's also the level. The level of rugby has grown as, as well. You know, you see a lot of like uh, talented athletes out there, and it's just it's just the competition has also has also increased as well. And so I, I feel it's the same with Life University. They've also have grown. Um, their program has grown into a very prestigious uh, program, uh, alongside uh, Lindenwood and uh, yeah, and. Because back then it was Penn State. Penn State was pretty much like the powerhouse until, you know. Um, but it's yeah, it's just amazing to see how much the program in women's rugby has has come. <clears throat> Absolutely. Um, yeah, we've we've uh, we've experienced the, those those changes and um, uh, um, you know the the way these programs are progressing. It's just fun to watch. Yeah. And and even the the women in the game. Uh, uh, just taking up the game, and um, it's it's uh, it's a game for everybody. So we welcome anyone to join. Yep. All right. We see some we see some excitement, some hyping up. Right now we're gonna have Cat Stowers. She will be kicking off, starting off the game. Cat Stowers will be kicking towards the east side. Um, if you're familiar with this field, um, it's it's going from east to, to west. So um, BYU will be defending the west side of the field and, and Life University in their traditional black and green colors and BYU with royal and black. Uh, you know, just, just fun to, 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 to be here and, um, and um, witness this game. All right, the whistle is on. And the kick is on. Cat kicks it to, to Layla. Layla will run it in. She picks it back up. And it's a knock on. Knock, knock on by Life University. Scrum down for BYU. So, just a normal um, um, early game. We call it jitters, you know. Just uh, trying to mm -hmm. to to maybe um, um, try to do something out of that uh, that possession. And uh, unfortunately, there was a knock on there, so it will be scrum to BYU right about on the uh, is that the 22 meter line. Kule, she takes it in. She gets down. The scrum. They're going to take it to the right side. Cammy Hattrick. Mm -hmm. And Kule um, will be manning the scrum off position for BYU. Uh, 
doing a good job at the beginning Pleasant of the game. Take Live. Max takes it in, offloads it to Avery. The tackle down at the five, five meter line. Cat decides to take it in, gets tackled. Now this is Bailey. Bailey is going into the ruck, trying to secure before take, get, passing it out to Boots Aspinall. They're getting some good, good go forward. And then Cammy also is taking it in little by little. It looks like they're trying to be quick, trying to get it out. But, oh, seems like it was a little, little drop, but still, still good. Little drop out there, but the referee says play on. Like uh, Sierra. Mm-hmm. And it looks all oh, looks like there's a penalty made by BYU. Sorry, that was uh, oh, looks Roxana. like she didn't release didn't release the ball. Yeah, so, so she's actually taking number eight, uh, uh, Roxana uh, Tongole uh, and it looks took the like ball in, and uh, life was right over the ball. Uh, that's a steal. We call it a turnover in rugby, and um, you know, uh, Life University defending really well, lady. Uh huh. So they decide to go for for a line out kick. <laughs> oh, it wasn't straight. It wasn't straight. So when you throw in the ball uh, uh, from a line out, uh, when the ball goes out. Um, you must throw it right through the middle. So if it goes to your own side, towards your own side, the referee will will call a turnover um, uh, because it's not fair when the ball is thrown on one side. Mm -hmm. Look, looks like BYU decided to go for a scrum instead of the line out. Looks the like scrum line is trying to hold, and it looks like Life won the scrum. They're number 15. Matilda is taking it from the side, has, a, has some good line. Life University getting some good go forward ball. Uh, they're recycling back to the midfield, right on the 10 meter line, uh, inside BYU's territory. Oh. So they're kind of scrambling a little bit to, to get the ball out. The BYU's defense is there to take them down. And looks like there's a kick into line out. Great clearance there from Life University to uh, to put the BYU Cougars uh, back in their own territory, right um, about five meters from the 22 meter line. Um, we're seeing some testing, testing out today. Um, but in the beginning, that's that's what usually happens in the beginning of a game. Is some, some testing out, um, and oh. uh, we're seeing uh, some good, uh, good promising uh, attacks and defense on both sides of the ball. Yep. Looks like Life had won the line out, giving them the possession. Ball went backwards. Life still moving the forward with the ball. Gives it to their 12, takes it in before passing it out to the edge to the number 15, Matilda. And she's going to the side, making a try at the edge. So one a, a try by the uh, number 15 there uh, for uh, for life, uh, Matilda Kozak or Kojak. 
Yep. You see, she had some footwork. Yeah. Kinda so makes the makes the defense pause before uh, running into making that try. <coughs> just doing some research before this game. This is one of the let This is one of the um, uh, uh, key players. Uh, the fullback from Life uh, has been uh, outstanding for them the whole season, and we expect nothing less from her today. Mm -hmm. And um, um, what what a what a break there for from her to put her team uh, up in front by five points to to zero with the kick to come. Mm. And the kicker is Angelina Mason. And she makes the conversion, making the point 7-0 life. Okay, that was a great kick from the corner, uh, right about five meters from the, the touch line. And um, she managed to uh, to put that one in, and uh, the score now is uh, seven points to to life, and uh, and BYU yet to score. Mm -hmm. With 51 minutes left to go. 51 minutes, uh, just a little bit of um, a geographical. Um, um, Information Life University from Marietta, Georgia, just outside of Atlanta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. um, uh, private university, uh, uh, medical chiropractic uh, university over there. With, uh, uh, they traveled a long way to, to be here, Letty. And then they're also here to, to, to win a game as well. And Life, they're number five. Abigail Nichols runs it in, and looks like it's a penalty. To BYU. Pe advantage to BYU. Didn't I believe Abigail didn't release the ball. So in rugby, when you tackle to the floor, uh, everyone has every right to the ball, but you have to be on your feet. So looks like uh, BYU got there first, and uh, they managed to to get that ball or steal that ball yep. and cause the turnover. And it looks like Kat had kick for touch, making it all the way close within their 10 meter line and they're gonna go in for a line out. Oh, looks Looks like there was a little bit of a disconnect, but the ref is going to award a knock-on a knock on to BYU. And they're gonna go for a scrum. So just a little bit about the Ford pack. The Ford pack for BYU Cougars today at number one, Kami Hattrick, number two, Sierra Gaza, and number three, Annie Mas. Number four, Ashlyn West Horror. Number five, Anna Lind. Six, Joel V. Seven, Bailey Ballard. Number eight, Roxana Tongale. Solid group. And their scrum is good. Passing it out. Oh. Looked like they tried to get into the back option, but it was a little, a little timing was a little bit off. Oh, pen penalty against the Cougars. Looks like life will look to kick, kick for touch. Yeah, just a little bit on that penalty. The the you're not allowed to put your hand straight to the ground when you're going for the ball. You you have every right to go for that ball, but if you put your hands on the ground first, you'll be will be penalized for it. Mm. But now BYU has the ball. Oh. Up to um, a um, looks like Avery, Avery, Avery Morgan with a good run, product mm -hmm. of Idaho. Uh, shout out to our boy, our coaches there in, um, in um, Idaho, uh, Chris Kovac, uh, one of the, um, the um, uh, uh, standout coaches there in, uh, in BYU, in, um, in Idaho. There was uh, a penalty for offside on life. Cougars look to quick touch. Cambria Hattrick with a good run there. Good line. BYU recycling really well. Passing it out back to the backs. 
Live defense not letting up. They're coming up really quick onto the ball. Ofe that was Ofeina that just ran the ball. Getting back to their forwards to their number eight. Roxana. Roxana. Going down. And then they decide to go out the back to Kat. There's space on the edge. She pops it back in into Kat. Kat makes a stiff arm running in. Oh, and there's, unfortunately, there's a knock on by Mac right before the try line. Oh, that was, oh. Letty, that, that, that is uh, a little bit heartbreaking. We have um, uh. um, a two on one situation, we call it in rugby, when there's one defender and two offense. It's just an easy, uh, easy pass away. Uh, but unfortunately, there was a knock on there, and um, you know, we have a try bagging. Mm. And uh, now it's going to be scrum to life. Um, Looks like there's a there's a there's an injury on the field. They're gonna delay and pause the game just to make sure she's okay. She's getting up. She looks like she's doing okay. And that is number one, Mercy Vival. Yeah, looks like she's okay. Um, well, well, great, great um, um, attack there from BYU, Letty, but uh, just their, their hands uh, let them down at, the, at that time. Just uh, it, It's unfortunate. Unfortunate. It's unfortunate, but, but hopefully they the, the, the Cougs will, will hopefully will brush it off and get kay. back into it. Yes. So, yeah, BYU still still uh, um, inside life, well deep into inside uh, life's uh, territory. territory. Looks like Olela decides to take it in, the number 10. She passes it off. Ofena is chasing. He's managed to t make the tackle. It looks like it's an advantage to life for the high tackle. The ref is giving them the advantage. And BYU is penalized, backing up 10. Kick for touch, great kick, but wasn't able to, to kick it out. Ofena catches it, runs in to contact. Passes it in. She still in the red zone. Oh, ref is allowing life to continue to play the ball. As of right now, we are in BYU Cougars territory. And a great line by number 16. And they're trying to muscle their way in. BYU's defense stops them right before the try line. They pick and go again. BYU is doing all they can to prevent the try. Right at the line. Nine passes it to number 13. And yet BYU is still able to keep them back before the edge is open. And their number 11 taps it in for another try. That was, the try was made by Hattie Greenwood. Hattie Greenwood. The, um, it was wonderful uh, uh, phases there uh, from uh, Life University, moving the ball, you know, from side to side, and uh, uh, just found their winger open on the outside, and that was a good uh, phase uh, for for Life University. There's some, they have some, they have some, you know, you have some really good, you have your strong runners. You could tell that they have a lot of powerful runners, mm -hmm. as well as quick, you know. So they have like a lot of their strikers being able to see the space and and hit the lines and then opening up the space before taking it all the way down to the edge where the space is open over there. Yes, Life, Life University is showing um, uh, their promise uh, from, uh, from last week. Um, and they are picking that up from uh, last week and, and coming into today's game. Uh, it, it looks like they are 
they are here to play. Uh, for the Cougars, um, uh, yeah, they'll have to regroup and, and try and uh, reply to this, uh, to get some points on the board. Uh, there's, there's no time to panic. It's a long way before the end of the game. Mm. So we're 21 minutes um, um, about 21 minutes and uh, you know left in the game. So BYU will, will restart again from the halfway line. Looks like she barely missed uh, the conversion. Score is still as of right now 12-0. And Cat will Cat Stores again will look to kick for a restart. She kicks it high. Catch from made by there's number six at Elid McGilvery. A tackle. And the nine looks to kick. The number 11 is sprinting towards it. Number four carries for BYU, Ashlyn, Ashlyn. Westora. Before passing it out to Bailey and a big tackle by number eight. Unfortunately, there was a knock on. It looked like it came from that tackle from uh, Emma Hawley on Life University. Yes, we will have a scrum, um, and um, for for Life University, the the forward pack uh, number one is uh, Mercy uh, uh, Bavao, Den uh, number two is Daniel Taulunga Taulua, uh, number three is Jonah Skusek, number four Lisa Salisbury, number five uh, Abigail Nichols, uh, number six Elizabeth McGilbury Gilbury. Number seven, Emily Mack. Uh, number eight, Emma Hauchi. And uh, that's the forward pack for, for Life University, Letty. Nice. It looks like they tries to run a, a line in. The Cougars stopped them. And they just won the ruck as of right now. Passes it out to our number five, Anna Lynn, before losing it, unfortunately. However, the Cougars will be rewarded a penalty for not releasing in the uh, is it in the tackle and it looks like there's a quick little break number 11 on life universities down Hattie Greenwood so let's kind of look some some big hits going in um, yep the, the ball just kind of spilled forward and that's uh, what we call a knock-on in rugby uh, but it looks like there was a penalty before that knock-on though oh, okay so we'll just take a quick little break here just to make sure the player is doing okay. She looks like she's doing good. Was it number 15? Was, oh, is was that number 15? Can't really see. Yeah. Good. Oh, 15. 15. Um, okay. Yeah. Is there a number 15? Looks like she's okay. It looks like, well, it looks like they're actually going to, yeah, yeah, she looks like she's okay. It's always, uh, you know, um, shout out to all the parents uh, who are watching out there. Um, you know, it's 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 a fun game to watch. Uh, it's, it, there's a there's a safety aspect of the game that we need to to watch. Uh, very technical game of rugby, mm -hmm. but uh, <coughs> so far um, everybody's okay and we we're witnessing a, a good game. As of right now, Kat successfully kicks the ball out for, for a line out to the Cougars. Oh, looks like there was a jumble in the line out, unable to keep possession of the ball, giving the chance for the, the Eagles Life University of Steel. Oh, that was a close, unfortunately. Cami tried to intercept the ball, but they were offside. 
as you can see Looks here. Looks like that uh, was. Oh, so she was supposed to release release the player there. Yep. yep. Thus, so, so, so when the rock is formed, um, you you cannot uh, go for the ball in the rock. So I think that's that's the penalty there. Just unfortunate because Kemi was uh, was was in the clear right there. But so Life University's ball. Yep, Life University's <coughs> ball line out at about the 40 meter. Oh, and BYU wins wins this line out. Looks like Life had dropped the ball. Cat looks to kick behind, and it is looks like it's still in. With Ofena Clark picking the flag. ball up. The flag is up. <coughs> oh, but a, yes. a delayed flag. So look yeah, so it looks like the, the ball went out before Ofena was able to pick it up. Let's take a look. So the ball had already gone out. And he was standing she was standing out, yeah. Yep. Number eleven tried uh, her best to keep the ball in play. Haiti Greenwood. However, the, the, the ball possession, the Cougars still maintains possession in the line out. Great catch. Passing it to Cat. Then to, into Mac. Going in for, into contact. Ooh. It look, looked like it was a knock on made by the Cougars. Life University winning the ball back in the scrum. So she passes, tries to pass it to Boots. Unfortunate, yeah, unfortunate uh, the knock on there, but um, both sides are trying to uh, to establish uh, some some we call it continuity. That means a flow of the game. You keep your rhythm and uh, uh, on attack. Um, you know some of these these uh, these uh, uh, errors or um, or uh, mistakes are just uh, credited to the defense, lady, right? Yep, absolutely. And and it's been really it's been a solid defense on on both sides on both the Cougars and Life. Looks like they took a quick little break for Sierra. There was just some blood. You know how rough it can get on the field sometimes. Yep, rugby is a, is a physical game. Yep. It is a, it's a collision game. So we'll have a, we've had our own uh, share of bruises and bumps, um, but it's, it's a fun, it's fun to play. It's a sign of pride. <laughs> yep. Life and it looks like they're passing it off. And they ki kick. kick it towards Avery Morgan. She's kind of waiting for the ball before the number 11 catches it and re regains possession of the ball. The number eight goes into contact. Live trying to set up quickly. The number one picks it up, loses the ball a little bit. And it's a free game for, for whoever and it looks like. Life will be penalized for failing to stay on their feet. Cat Stores will take the ball and go for a kick, line out kick, kick for touch. And they will, now the Cougars will go for a line out on their 22 meter mark. Just some uh, clarification for those who are new to the game. Uh, so when there's a penalty, that's a, that's a long arm, uh, penalty. So the the team that that wins that penalty has the opportunity to kick the ball and move upfield. So that's the easiest way to move up, and then you earn the line out again. Ooh, so that's looks why like you'll see those in this in these games. Looks like Life had w won the line out, putting the Cougars on defense. The number twelve takes it in, running into contact. Decided to attack on the left again. Their number 13 making big strides. The Life University going into Cougar territory. 
Oh, unfortunate, lost the ball before Cougar picks it up. Regain possession of the ball within their, in their red zone. Kicking it back. The Life University unable to, to catch it immediately. This is their number 15. Impressive footwork before passing it out to their number 12 out on the edge. Just the space and she passes it back into the number 12 who will go in for the try. Unfortunately, it looks like there is a whistle by the ref. Ford pass. Unfortunate there in the end, but what a, some good movements of the ball from uh, Life University just, uh, you know, just just passing before contact and uh, you know, moving the ball forward. So uh, well, it was a forward pass there, but life life is, is showing, you know, um, some good rugby today. And, and uh, they've got power, they've got speed, and they've got some skills. You know, in this game, you have to have some good good skills in order to progress. And, and both sides are showing some promise in, on, uh, oh, yeah. in that regard. Ooh, penalty, it's penalty to the Cougars for the scrum, uh, moving it, moving it. Cat will take it into contact, getting a, a couple of defenders on her. Okay, they're passing it off to the forward and number eight who will run into the contact. Cougars trying to gain some momentum and some and some meters. To V with the ball. And it's a penalty awarded to Life University. Cougars had, were, were holding on to the ball, didn't release it. Yep. In, and in more contact. like support player was, was late to the ruck to, to help out. So you have Life University right on the ball, and uh, it was uh, a good tackle by Layla, holding on to to Boots before her support defense defense came to to poach the ball. Looks like they're gonna have a scrum in the forty around the forty meters, awarded to Life University. So uh, we have 10 minutes to go in the game. Life University leading BYU 12 to 0. And uh, we have a scrum now right on the BYU's 10 meter line. Looks like it was a little bit of a scramble. Passing it back to their 15. She's quick. On, some of the Cougars are struggling to get her down. She's just moving around, dancing around the field. Matilda Koza, what mm -hmm. a good run. I know. And they're number eight, rushing through into into the the Cougars' red territory, and they're passing it out wide to the edge for, to their number eleven, Hattie Greenwood. Is spaced on the edge again, and their number fourteen makes goes in for a try, Sarah Barson. A try there in the corner. Life uh, moving the ball really well from side to side. Um, um, again, when, when, when you see a team that's scoring in the corner, that's a, a sign of good uh, ball movement from the inside. They are just, uh, uh, you know, getting some good um, retention, we call it. That means when you, do, you win your own ruck and uh, you win your own uh, breakdown situation. And they're winning the collision um, for the most part, and that resulted in uh, another try for the uh, for the running eagles, in Life University. So 17 to zero right now, uh, right before the uh, the conversion conversion to come. You know, you're watching as you're watching uh, these players, especially on Life. They're they're really making the Cougars work on defense, um, and you could just see the athleticism. Uh, in 
with with each player. There's a there's athleticism on both sides. We see some promise from the Cougars. We d uh, I think for the Cougars, they just need to put uh, you know the the string their attacks together and minimize their mistakes. And uh, you know when we we watch them in the beginning of the the half, they're able to get close to life university's try line. So it's it's them to it's it's more mental right now, Letty, right? Oh yeah, but the Cougars are they're gonna get back into this and continue and continue to push push forward. Yes, it's not a, a, a lost cause because there's there's plenty uh, of rugby to be played. We have seven minutes to go in the half. There's another forty minutes in the second half. Uh, so looks like they decided to kick on the left side instead of the right. Cougars fervor and their defense are still moving forward, making their tackles. Looks like they're trying to hold up the life play and the rip Cami Hart Cami ripping the ball out with the Life University's hands. Giving it an advantage for the Cougars to, to gain possession of the ball. Moving the ball down into Boots' hands. She goes into contact. Cougar setting back up to take the ball in. Scrambling forward. Back into their hooker. Life stopping her, taking a few players down with her. Cammy decides to take it in before going down again. Cat does a little little kick over before bouncing out for touch. It'll be a line out to Life Investi for uh, BYU kicking the ball out. Um, so the play now right on the between the 10 meter and the uh, 22 meter line inside uh, Life uh, University's uh, half. We have about five minutes to go in this uh, first half, and uh, the score is 17 to zero. Throw, Life throws the ball in successfully. Running in to the Cougars defensive line. There's a whistle and a penalty awarded to Life University. Cougars failed to roll away in contact. Life is again looking to kick for touch, relieve some of the pressure take the ball out of their territory. And the ball successfully goes out. Line out, Life University's ball. And successfully throws it in before passing it out to the backs. Layla keeping the ball going before going into contact. Looks like the Cougars tried to poach, unable to do so. And missed tackle by our wing, Cougars winger. 14 taking it in, loses the ball. However, the ref saying that ball went backwards. And Life taking the ball out to the edge. And Cougars win the ball, possession of the ball. And the ball is out. Looks like it's going to be Life, Life University's line out the referee just so. having a chat there with uh, with the um, uh, assistant referee on the side um, 
Yep, it looks like it's going to be Life, Life University's ball. Number 16 throwing it in. Live catches it before passing it back out. Layla cuts in, taking the ball in, bringing some Cougars down with her. Tate gives it to the winger. 15, great tackle by our number, Cougars 14. And it will be penalty against the Cougars for failing to roll away. I believe number 14 is Ophena Clark. Great tackle. This is, it's kind of a, it's kind of a pile, a little dog pile there. Yep. The Life, U Life University decides to kick for touch again. Going into the red zone of the Cougars. Shout out to the two head coaches uh, for Life uh, Women's Rugby. It's uh, Razad Chadwick, the head coach of the uh, Life University and for BYU, it's uh, Jared Whippy. really have done a great job with these two programs uh, competing at D1 elite level. It was, it was, a, it was a mall, but it looks like BYU kind of stole the ball, stole ball possession. Pat kicks it into the, the Eagles, Eagles' arms, and they're number 15. Again, Matilda is running into space before getting caught up by our number 13, Mac. Good tackle there by Mac. Life is looking to secure their possession in, in, in the ruck. And there is a whistle, knock on made by the Eagles. And unfortunately, it looks like we have a cougar down. That is our number eight, Lily. Roxana Donnelly. Oh, nope. I'm sorry, nope, it looks like it's our, it's Sierra Garza, our number two, who's, who's down. Possible injury. There's a, both, both teams are, 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 are really fighting. They're, they're they, really wanting that win. They have their moments, both teams have their moments, and um, you know, the, the, the potential is there. Mm -hmm. Uh, just some excitement, you know, it's senior day for BYU, um, some excitement, you know, sometimes it can uh, can cause some unforced errors, but uh, for BYU, uh, still time, still time to come back to this game, this is a, a really good game, low, scor low scoring game, so some, we can already see some, some uh, good players on both sides. And we just want to let you want to highlight, you know, that's your position. Uh, number 15 for life. Uh, you can already tell she's playing uh, an outstanding game today. And yeah, she's doing a great job. She is looking to insert herself uh, to attack the space that um, the Cougars are failing to cover. However, um, and she's also just being able to kind of um, create opportunities for her support to, to take, to see the space. In, in the Cougars' defense. We have a scrum right on the uh, BYU's 22 middle line. And uh, we have about, uh, uh, there's no time left in the, in the first half, so now it's on to the referee's time. So yeah. Cats Towers uh, relieves some pressure there. <laughs> Kicks it into, into space, putting pressure on our, the life's number 15. The Cougars are looking, are, are really putting, trying to pressure on on in, on life's attack, on offense. Life passes it out back, where they're going to kick. Goes behind Cat. 
going into touch. Line out to the Cougars. And that is halftime, Tom. Okay, that, that's halftime. We, uh, we, uh, we, we have halftime here at, at, uh, at Southfield Provo. Uh, the score is 17 to 0. And uh, the running Eagles uh, uh, taking charge of this one in the first half. And um, uh, uh, we'll, we'll, um, we'll, we'll uh, um, turn the time back to the, the, the studio and um, we'll come back in the, in the second half. But it looks like we're in for a great second half. Uh, uh, stay tuned uh, for more commentary uh, live here from the Southfield. And uh, okay, we'll do some first first half highlights. We'll do some first half highlights here and um, and then just break it down. And uh, maybe we can uh, we can uh, give some uh, some positive feedback on what each team um, uh, will need to do in order to to win this game because there's a lot of grub to be played. There's the, uh, the fullback for life. Um, just an outstanding uh, game so far. Um, Matilda. So how do you pronounce that last name? Uh, to be honest, you're asking the wrong person. I, maybe Kojak? <laughs> Co maybe. Kosag, Kosag, Kosag. I'm so sorry. We'll go with that. Uh, apologize to the parents out there who are listening in. Um, uh, but uh, if you, you know, your your um, uh, your daughter is playing today, you know, shout out to them, uh, doing an outstanding job, uh, enjoying the game of rugby. So. Um, um, is that 15 again, Letty? Yep. Yeah. So, so, uh, life. <laughs> All right. There's a. Uh, um, uh, it's half time, and uh, they have to regroup. So we have there is number fifteen for life, Matilda. Um, some standouts. Some standouts for this game. <coughs> For Life University, uh, uh, I would say Letty, um, I'll, 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 I'll give the standouts for Life and, and you give a kind of a, uh, the standouts for BYU. Yep. Uh, for Life, uh, I would say they're number nine delivering the ball. The number nine is the scrum half. That's uh, the, the connection between the scrum and the back line, or between the forwards and the back line. So number nine for life, uh, playing a key role, and number 12 delivering. You see that in one of the replays, he was the assist, uh, as we call it in basketball and all other sports. But he, when, when we have a two-on-one situation, he's the one that draws the defense and delivers it to the wing. Uh, so stand out there, number 12. Uh, number 15, of course, uh, has been our standout today. And for the life forwards, it's number seven. Um, outstanding work in the breakdown and uh, and in the thick of things. You, usually you don't see um, these kind of players because we call it the in the thick of things and, and uh, it will take a lens to zoom in and, and see them work. Their work rate is very, very high uh, and doing all the tackles and rocking and assisting. So Tom, what do you think in this next in the next half? What are some things that the Cougars will need to do to to kind of um, uh, get back into the fight? Um, the Cougars uh, uh, just don't panic. Uh, for me, the Cougars will will just have to regroup uh, one play at a time. Just put some phases together. In this rugby, you you probably can't play a breakdown game, like one pass knock on, you know, two passes and then we scrum. Uh, you have to have some continuity in order to build the momentum. Uh, so that's what the Cougars need to do. Just, just keep it simple. There's no need to panic. There's 40 minutes of the to play, and there's only 17 points to to make up. So for me, the Cougars just play, try and and, and get some territory. There's some. There's been some good kicking from uh, Catherine Stowers. Mm -hmm. So. 
they just need to put uh, play in uh, in the life investors half and then try to build up from there and and put some faces together yeah so, so unfortunate there in the first half you know they had a try bagging with a two on one situation but yeah they they have to keep that behind them you know as we say in rugby just just forget about it um that's that's part of history so you know move forward and uh, and, and put some phases together and be consistent. Mm -hmm. You have to be consistent. Yeah. I think despite the points, the Cougars still have a really good chance um, to, 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 to come back to, you know, to, uh, to, to catch up and, 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 and win this game. Some of, actually, I think some of the standouts from, from the Cougars are um, in, the forward, in the forward pack, we have Cami Hartrick and Anna Lynn who have been uh, key in, in the strong carries, carrying the, the carrying the ball forward and, and helping the, the Cougars get, get some momentum. And then we have Catherine Storrs with her kicks um, just to help relieve any pressure as well as putting pressure on to the, on the, the running Eagles. And also another big, another standout is Ofina Clark. I don't know if you knew, but I, I, I from what I know, I believe that this, this is her first season ever playing rugby yes. before. She's kind of she's pretty new. Yes, uh, let's let's shout out to these two programs. You know, they're welcoming new players. Uh, some of them playing in their first uh, semester, first season of uh, rugby, and they are taking it and uh, and you know um, and progressing and and really taking up the game. Um, so I'm I'm really excited for the second half because for the Cougars, uh, they, we have some outstanding players. So yeah. we just need to to put. Keep it simple. Put put some phases together. What I mean by phases is just you know some passes and some rucks, win some rucks. And another big thing, Letty, is uh, the breakdown situation. Okay, so when you see the collision between the two teams, you can tell by the score. So life is winning the collision, like in the rucks, in the tackles when they when they when they when they run into tackles, they're making yards. You know they're breaking some tackles. So. You can it shows in the scoreboard. So just BYU needs to come back stronger, you know, just win their own rucks and uh, and and maintain some possession. Well, you know, I have every faith that the Cougars. You know, they've been through a lot of adversity, and they have, and I know that they have the resilience and um, and they have what it takes to to get back into into this. So, well, but I guess we'll find out in this in this next in this in these next 40 minutes. Yes. Uh, shout out to the coaches for BYU. Uh, Jared Whippy and assisted by uh, Alfred Tora. And uh, for for life, it's um, uh, uh, Chadwick uh, took over from uh, from uh, an old, a former friend of ours, uh, Ross, uh, moved over to Brown University. But uh, she was the one who took this program from the beginning stages, and, and it's where it is today. Uh, and we're talking about Life University. So we have a kickoff from with life kicking it off to the Cougars, and a cat setting up our hooker up into that space, hitting that line. Cami taking it into contact before the Cougars pass it back out to Cat Stowers, who will kick just a little light kick over the the running Eagles. Unfortunately, they weren't able to regain the possession. The ball is now into the hands of the running Eagles, which then they'll kick it out to touch. Ball still is the possession to the Cougars, going for a line out. Looks like they're going to have it started back to where the kicker kicked it. It's out on the full, as we call it. So if you kick the ball from between the 22s, if you kick the ball all the way out uh, without bouncing in, the play will come back to where you kick, kick it from, and it's a turnover to the other team. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the little <laughs> rules of uh, the kicking game in rugby. Uh, one of the very special games that you can kick, uh, pass, you know, run with the ball. Yeah. Everybody has an opportunity to score. It's just a, just a unique game for, for anybody. 
Unfortunately, I believe the Cougars lost possession due to the um, not throwing the ball straight in the line out. The running Eagles are, will then take the opportunity to use this to have a scrum close to the close to the 40 meter, well, a little over the 40 meter. BYU trying to win the, the, the scrum push. G giving them the advantage to win. Life is then penalized. Number eight, Roxana takes it, takes the, the touch and goes. Passing it out back, Boots going for a line, a big tackle by Life University. Number 13. Yeah, that was a big hit. Big hit. Number but three taking it in. By, by Boots Espinal. Passing oh. out back. The, the oh, space yeah. is out on the edge. Bailey running it in, making big strides, keeping the ball in. Looks like a BYU B has an advantage. BYU then taking it back in. Roxana going into contact. And there was a penalty, quick tap by Kat Stowers, runs it in, getting it close and close to the try line. And number four, Cougars runs the ball in. The Cougars are getting closer and closer. Boots running the ball, gets tackled by Life University, and Mag picks it back up and running, spring straight into the try zone at the edge. Michaela Koma, Michaela Koma for BYU. Okay, um, that was a good play, Letty. Exactly what we talked about. BYU just needs to uh, to kick it out from their own uh, own half and and build some momentum, put some phases together, and there it was. Michaela well, Koma, number 13, a senior from BYU. Well, uh, but this this is what I mean, Tom. Like the, you know, despite despite whatever is going on, the Cougars still are going to push and keep keep fighting i think in this in this bit it just shows that once you you know sometimes you just need to back yourself put your head down back yourself up and and, and just and, and and go for it and absolutely and if it, if you notice uh, letty there was there was uh, an incredible part of play but if you're watching there was an advantage giving to byu over there and cat Towers, with all her experience she she intentionally drop the ball to cause a knock on so the referee will go back to the advantage and she quick tapped it and that put the life under pressure over there so that that was credit to cat stowers for her incredible uh, experience and skills uh to do that it sucked the uh, life defense in and then they found space on the outside oh yeah you know and cat has been a big has been, had a big impact in this game so far helping her team throughout throughout this entire game and also throughout the season. And what a Mac great Comer makes the conversion, making the score now 17-7, a 10-point difference. Okay, as we said, a lot of game to be played. So BYU are clawing, the Cougars are clawing their way back, Letty. Oh, they're still in the fight. They're still in the they're fight, 17-7. Uh, with uh, We've just been uh, six minutes into the second half. So uh, yeah, we, 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 ex we expect this fight uh, today the running eagles versus the cougars right here in southfield provo utah under the wasatch mountains mm -hmm. the number 12 angelina kicks it into the hands of our the cougar scrum back oh great a tackle. nice tackle by that, Layla that, Obethi. Is a, that is a great tackle right there cougar still trying to maintain control passing it to cami hartick but unfortunately she drops the ball it looks like the advantage to the life for the for the knock on. Life will then take the opportunity to still run the ball, passing it back to their fullback, who's looking to again make some meters. They're still unable to get her down, passing it. Life passes it to their their prop. 
number one. Solid hit by Cougars. Life is slowly inching their way and makes, makes it in for a try. So it, it all started with that turnover, Letty, with that, um, you know, uh, life answering back. That, that's, that is a, a good answer for BYU Stry. But uh, we talked about it in the, in the, in the, in, at halftime. You know, the, the Cougars decided to play. I don't know why they decided to play, but they played on their own 22-meter line and caused a turnover there. And uh, life capitalized on it and attacked. And, uh, and and then uh, scored that, uh, that last try. So the score now is 22 to seven with a kick to come. I think there was just some unexpected mishaps, you know, just for example, just with uh, ball control Yep. Um, and, and a little bit of ball movement, but. Yeah, that, that's probably what it is. They were trying to build a face to get an exit from there. Right. We call an exit where you kick away from your own half. So just trying to build some uh, some uh, momentum so you can get a good kick in. But unfortunately, that ball spilled out and life capitalized on it. And unfortunately, life misses the conversion. That's uh, With the score, 7.22 to life. 31 minutes left into this half. The great kick from... Uh, is that the number 12 again? Mm -hmm. Number 12, uh, Angelina Mason. She's been taking the kicks for life today. Doing a great job too in the middle, in midfield, in the centers. So for the lives back line, number nine, Alexia English, uh, Leila Opeti at number 10, Heidi Greenwood at 11, Angelina Mason at 12, uh, Madison Doyle at 13, and Sarah Bassam at 14. Matilda Kosage at 15. Oh, it looks, looks like, like we have a substitution. Sub. Uh, Joe. Um, uh, Joe. Grunwit. Grunwit coming in for number nine, Kule Ulwabe. And Kat's going to kick, start this kick off. Picks it into the, the hands of the number 13 of life. Cougars are looking to get the ball back. Life kicks it, get it out of their territory. Great. Into the Cougars' hands, but unfortunately, she wasn't able to secure the ball, and the ball goes out into touch. Life line out to Life University. It was a great box kick there from uh, Life Letty, the uh, scrum half. Mm -hmm. Alexia English with a nice box kick there, put BYU under pressure. Looking to keep the ball out of their territory. It's very strategic. Their number, life number eight, takes it inside for a nice l crash line by number six, getting a few meters. And it's a steal by the Cougars, the Cami. Stowers looking to kick the ball out of their territory, but it was blocked by number four, Lisa Sa Sa Salisbury. And they win the ball, the possession of the ball back. Life University's number number six takes the ball in before taking it out to the back line. Great double tackle by the Cougars. Taking it out back to the backs and number 13 is hitting that space running and unfortunately it looks like dropped the ball a little bit the referee called it knock back it so. went backwards and now it's a try try awarded to life university we'll do watch a little replay 
Yes, the referee called it knock back when that uh, that initial knock where the ball was tripped out. Um, and that was a try by what? Which number was it? I'm gonna say twelve. It looked like they're eleven. I think by Hattie Greenwood. Okay. And Angelina Mason is going to kick for Good the Good run there by number 13. Yeah, the number 13, uh, uh, Madison Doyle. The, and then, uh, the who? For, for Life University that, that did the run. And, uh, oh, yes. Close to the line. And then, uh, yes, I think number 11. Yeah, I think in Haiti. Haiti Greenwood. Haiti, um, and she kicks, making the conversion. Score is 727, 26 minutes left. You know, with, with the Cougars, in, in order for them to get back, they'll just have to clean up just a couple little little minor things with with ball, ball handling skills and so forth in order to get back. Yes. <clears throat> Just to just build some phases there. Just like in the beginning of the first half, they need to go back to that and, and try to build some momentum from there. So. They're, still, they're still in the game. Okay. Catherine Stowers. Uh, Kicks in the center. The and it bounces into the life's try. Life University is struggling to, to get control of the ball. Layla getting some footwork in for going into contact. Cougars are in life's red zone as of right now. Passes it back to their 15 who kicks it and the ball goes out into touch. Cougars ball. The ball all the way to us here in the, on the side. Um, just a good clearance there from life. Uh, BYU some good attack there, but uh, the play now is on the uh, life invest is uh, right around the 10 meter line. We have a substitution good. for life, number three. Nice, and the ball goes back into the hands of our prop, Cammy Hart Hartrick. Gets into contact. Before Cat passes it into our number eight, Roxana, looking to spread the ball out, but life's defense is there. Cougars are trying to get gain some meters, but it looked like the ball was ripped out of the Cougars' hands by Life University. And it's just going back and forth, trying to win the ball back. And it looks like the ball is in the possessions of the, of the running Eagles. Great tackle by Roxana. And Life will kick it over the Cougars' heads into touch but the ball will go back to where the kicker had kicked it previously. Line out to the Cougars in the running Eagles territory. About a little over 40 meters. Shout out to our great uh, school here, uh, Brigham Young University, BYU, for putting this uh, event together. Cat uh, kicks it a little over their head into the arms of the number life number 15 and they're able to steal the ball back. Cougars are looking to move quickly to put some stress on running Eagles defense. Ball goes back into Cammie Hartrick's hands. She moves, get, moves the ball forward. Looks like there's an advantage to the Cougars. The Cougars are still inching their way forward and closer to the try line. They're about 
within 10 meters and they're still pushing forward. Now they're five meters into the Life University's territory. Ball moves to, into Boots Aspinall's hands. She gets tackled. And Max picks and, and decides to take the ball in. Live's defense is looking to stop the Cougars' movement, and the and it's going to go back to the penalty penalty to to the Cougars for fail, for failing to roll away. Cat decides to quickly tap and go, and she taps it in for a try. The crowd is going wild. Good crowd here today for women's rugby. Uh, BYU um, scoring that, that, that last try with the um, Catherine Stowers, one of the seniors. Cat uh, Stowers has been nominated for the Sorensen Award, which is the Collegiate Player of the Year. Well, she's, a, she's an outstanding player. Yeah. Just, just, she's just her understanding of the game and her work ethic and work rate is, is exemplary. She's been, she's been in this program for, for a while and. Yes, a product of Orem um, a rugby program in the beginning stages, then moved to United and uh, the wonderful uh, uh, Utah Youth uh, a League here in, uh, in Utah for youth rugby. So she's a product of that with uh, Espinal, um, her cousin on the, on the Sanders. Uh, Boots Espinal, mm -hmm. so you can, you can tell in, uh, in the game there was some, you know, some some ex uh, rugby IQ, I call it rugby IQ, when you, when you know the game, know the rules, you can play around the rules, and um, Castawas is the, the one for BYU. Beautiful kick by Mac, bringing the score up to 14-29, 20 minutes left of the game. The Cougars still have a chance to get back into this. Oh, they're still fighting. The There's Cougars will not go away. So uh, it's it's engraved in this program, uh, the culture. You know, um, you, you you never quit in a game or in anything in life. So um, really, really excited to see the Cougars bounce back and and score that try. And uh, they're still in the game with 20 minutes to go. Angelina going to kick for the re restart. She kicks it about center into the hands of Kat. She drops it a little bit backwards, but she regains and she decides to take the ball in. As of right now, they are in the five meter zone of the Cougars territory. Cami, a prop, decides to kick the ball. They're still within the Cougars territory. Solid tackle by, by Sierra. Oh, looks like there was a, a little bit high tackle. Number eight takes the ball in. The left. Life University is on, on the edge. Looks like the Cougars took the ball back, gained possession of the ball. Stolen but by they're it. stolen by Life University, their number two. It was a good steal there, Life Alyssa. Into the hands of their fullback. As of right now, the Life is in the danger zone of the Cougars. Passes into the hands of their 13, and in she goes for a try at the edge. Just some good ball movement. There was a, a couple of good turnovers there. There was the first turnover from BYU, Alisa Erickson. Shout out to the dad, Kendall. 
Erickson, one of the uh, BYU alumni and BYU rugby great. Uh, daughter number 16 came in, did the turnover, and life turned it over again. So, and then they put a couple faces together, it resulted in that, that try. Well, it looks like life is, they're recognizing the space is on the edge, and they're trying to, and they're doing a really good job at getting the ball out there quicker, where they're able to make these meters and also make these tries. And, you know, putting a lot more stress and pressure on the Cougars' defense. Yeah, as we said earlier, Letty, yeah, they're winning the collision, so they they may be able to attack and may gain some grounds. It, it's it's sucking in the defense. Yeah. And that's why you have open spaces on the outside. On the outside, on the edge. And with their skill level, they're, they're able to pass really well and move the ball. And and that's, that's a great weapon to have in rugby mm. when you can dominate the strength in the middle and then you have the passing skills to move the ball out wide. Cougars are getting back into it quickly, doing their best to, to kind of go against the time. Cat stores going in to reset. Kicks it to the right side of the field. The Running Eagles forward pack making their way forward, maintaining position, possession of the ball. Little by little, trying to break through the Cougars line of defense, pass it back to their number 12 who kicks it behind the Cougars. The Cougars are scrambling to get the ball into their hands before passing it out to Cat Stowers. She stiffs arm, throwing some players down before going down into, into a ruck. Kruger passes it out to our, their forward pack, who are then looking to get some meters in. Kick Kicks a little bit off. However, the D Cougars are trying to win the ball back from the, the running Eagles. Great tackle by Comer. Double tackle, ball's a little bit loose. And the, the Cougars are awarded, uh, awarded the ball. Knock on made by the running Eagles, which will result to, in a scrum. Yes, both sides uh, willing to throw their body on the line and and for their team, just still going on 100%. That's what, what the coaches would probably want to emphasize on with their team. It's like both these two teams, even with the subs coming in, uh, they're giving it their all. Um, we got to play, they have to play to the last minute. And we have about 14, 14 minutes to go. Oh, looked like the scrum half was unable to, to pass the ball out, but thankfully they will be awarded a penalty. Back 10 for offside. Cat then tries to kick it, but it looks like she knocks it on. But running Eagles will be penalized again for not backing 10. BYU is looking to tap and just quickly go. Passes it into, the, into a forward. So they're going to take the left side of the field. See if they can pass it on the edge where there's a little bit of space. A little some footwork. Forward pack is going to take it in again before going into Cat's hands, and they're going to kick the ball. And the ball will land into the 15's hands. She evaded the defenders, passing to number 23. Comer, great tackle from behind. The Eagles are still in the Cougars' territory. Ball is still up, but held by Cam Cammy Hartrick. Life then passes it out.
Ball is in, in Opeti's hands. She passes it behind her. Life is pushing forward, getting in good go forward. And it looks like there is a penalty awarded to the Cougars. Running penalties for holding on to the ball. Yeah, the, yeah, it looks like one of the Cougars came to yep. came to steal the poach and and we're gonna have a sub number eighteen from the Cougar. Yep. It's no, it's a uh, Jenna Worth Jenna Worth and going in for for. For Anna Lynn. Anna Lynn. So they're going to go kick to touch, but the ball was unable to go out. Live catches it. Good tackle by Pip. By and the Cougars are looking to try to kind of push her out. Ball is still in. Crowd getting into it. Crowd Cup going wild out, out here. Couple hundred here today. Looks like there's a and it looks like there's a there's a breakthrough by Life number 18. One of their subs, number 18. And number we'll eight looks to pass but decides to keep it. Ariel Chemis was the one that took the ball in. Penalty and it to looks BYU. Looks like there's a penalty to BYU. They're gonna decide to do a quick tap and go, gaining it in a few meters. Trying to get an advantage over the running Eagles. Put some pressure on their defense. Alisa Erickson with a good run there. BYU then moves the ball to the right where there's a little bit of space. Boots hits the line, gets tackled, and there's another penalty awarded to the Cougars. And they do another tap and go, and they're moving forward. Headstars take the ball in, tackled within their 10 meter line. And it looks like there's another penalty awarded to the Cougars. This time they're going to take it slow, control, keep control of the ball and of the momentum. Looks like they're just going to tap and pass rather than a scrum. Cammy Hartwick takes the ball in. Is she over the try line? Life University is looking to keep her up. Oh, and it's a, it's a penalty. Still awarded to the Cougars for not for not penalties penalty against the Life University life, for not releasing. Yeah, life have to be careful. If you if you have a couple penalties here close to the try line, it it be considered a professional foul that could result in a Can yellow, goes yellow again, card. Takes it in. Ball has not crossed the try line. Cat catches the ball. That was a close one. Life stopping her behind behind the, the, the game line. Ball goes to Avery, Avery Morgan. Avery is looking to get the ball in. Another penalty offsides on the running Eagles. A quick, another quick tap and go. Passes to Cammy. Cammy's going in for another third time. However, stopped by the Life, Life Eagles. Decided to take it left. Avery Morgan goes fake, takes it in. Cougars are doing everything they can to make the try as the life is a little bit of a scramble. Mag tries to take the ball in. Oh, and there's the call for knock on. It's a good fight there from the Cougars. And uh, also in, a big fight from the Cougars as well as a big fight on the defensive side of, yes. of, of Life University. Yes. Just stopping, stopping the Cougars. With eight, about eight and a half minutes left of the game, Cougars are looking to score, make a difference in this game, trying to close the gap. And 
and the scrum. They are winning the scrum. And Cougar is awarded with the penalty against Life University, where they will take the tap and try to go. Again, resetting into in the in the breakdown. Passing it out to the forward, running it in. Oh. oh, penalty against the Cougars. Coming in from the wrong side of they the didn't ruck. Well, ref says didn't release the ball. It's unfortunate. It's just these little small mistakes that, that needs, to, needs to be worked on. Life then kicks it out for touch. Stays in, caught by Kat Stowers. So she stiff arms. Before passing it out into the hands of Cami Hartrick, who then passes it off to our number two. Offloads it again into our locked hands. Cougars getting momentum. Out to our to our sub. The Cougars are regrouping. Cat passes it out to Boots Aspinall before offloading it to our number 22. She's still fighting, stay on her feet, goes down, back into Cat's hands to the right side. Boot Aspinall is then running forward and out into the space. Lelo Bethy makes the tackle on life. The Cougars pushing, trying to push forward with Life University's defense putting pressure in the ruck. And there's a penalty awarded to the Cougars. Offside in the ruck against the, against the Running Eagles. Looks like Cat Stowers is looking to kick the ball out for touch. Oh. Change of plans. I think they were going to tap and, and pass it out. It happens. Keep, keep the ball in. Change of plans. Keep you know, the ball you got to do what you got to do, Tom. It's a sure shot, yeah? Yep. You got to keep the ball in hand. Nice. And she offloads it, but it's stopped by life's defense. It's the, it's the, the she winning, passes the it content. behind. They're trying to get it out to the edge where there's space. Pip cuts back in, getting some deep, some footwork in. Yeah, live defense looks like it's not ho not letting up. So no, they're they're bringing the tackles, they're bringing everything. Even though BYU has possession of the ball. Life University. Oh, and there's a the cat running into the try. That's a try. Hitting the line, finding the gaps in the space, running in for a try. Cougars are Bring fighting. The they, they're still they're still fighting. We have about five minutes, six minutes to go. It's those, it's, it's those stiff arms. Those stiff arms are yes, deadly. Yes, yes. If there's a, you know, each player has their own style, and with Cat's style, it's her strong carries and her stiff arms. Yes, it's the little skills that make a difference. It's just getting the edge on the other player. So those stiff arms is a good weapon to have. You can push off the other player. So there was a great uh, run there from Catherine Stowers. Uh, again, we mentioned she was nominated for the um, College Player of the Year, uh, Sorensen Award. Um, you know, shout out to Cat Stowers' parents and all those coaches from high school who've helped to mold a player to where she is today. I think she'll be grateful for all those help. And, and we're just, as of right now, we're just waiting for Matt Comer to yep. kick the ball in for the conversion. As of right now, she has made every single one of her kicks, and looking to make her third one in. And it will come up short. Come up short. The score is 34 life running eagles and 19 BYU. We have about three and a half minutes. Three, less than four minutes to go um, in the game. Um, we are witnessing a good game of rugby. And again, thanks to um, our um, sponsors and all those, uh, the uh, Brigham Young University, enter to learn, go forth to serve.
for uh, for this wonderful bring this event right here on Southfield uh, at the campus of uh, BYU. So, and also shout out to Life University for for their program. Cats Towers with the ball. BYU still finding their in, inside their own 22, looking to make a clearance. There's a kick there from Catherine Towers. Okay, she kicks it back into number 11's hands. Level 11's trying to evade from Cougar's grasp. She then gets stopped. A little over the 50 meter line. Live then passes it to the right, right side of the field. And a penalty awarded to the running Eagles. Didn't roll away, says the ref. And uh, Life will then kick it out for touch. They are able to keep the ball in by Avery Morgan, then who ball goes to Cat Stores, who then kicks it back to the Life, who then drops it into a knock-on. The ref will then go for the scrum. Ball to the Cougars. Knock on there. You can see the fatigue uh, letting in, but uh, both teams are fighting really hard and um, you know playing to the last minute, and we are in the last minute of the game. Um, so knock on there, BYU has the ball. Let's see what they can do here. We have a injury timeout. So oh, looks like there's an injury. Seems like it's one of our, one of the Cougar players. Thank you. And she's getting up. It lo oh, looks like it was Boots Aspinall, but she's doing okay right now. In the last, in less than a minute, Cougars are, both teams are both fighting till the end. Big scrum. Passes it out to Cat Stowers. Cat Stowers tries to pass it out the back into Pip's hands. A little, little drop. Cougars are still able to maintain possession of the ball. Passes it to Mac, who then kicks it. Goes behind the Eagles, but they're able to regain possession. And now are running. Passes it into their 15's hands, trying to Push off a, a, a Cougar defender. The Cougars defense are still working to, to stop the life and potentially trying to seal the ball. Passes it to the edge, gets it out where there's space, and unfortunately goes into touch. We're into the last minute of the game. And it looks like there's gonna be a line out to the Cougars. Good throw in by the Cougars. And Cat kicks it again, high up enough. And it, a little drop by the life, but behind. Comer in quickly to, to tackle. But the hand goes into the 50s hand as she is running through the Cougars' defensive line. As the Cougars are trying to stop her, she passes off but drops it a little bit into number 11's hands. The eagle still gains possession of the ball. 
doing their best to play. Potentially the last game. Oh, penalty against the Cougars. And the ball will be rewarded to the Eagles. They're gonna look to kick it out. Which then signifies the end of the game. And today, Life University earns another win. 19 to 34, that's full time. What a wonderful uh, setting here, Letty, uh, 34 to 19, and we was just seeing some highlights here. Um, you know, some outstanding players from both sides. You know, Michaela Coma. And, um, okay. Life University. You know, moving the ball really well. You see a try there from uh, number 13. So Catherine Stowers, outstanding leadership from the uh, Cougars. Mm -hmm. uh, we, there was some wonderful uh, rugby here today, and, and uh, credit to the coaches and the coaching staff uh, led by for BYU is Jared Whippy and uh, uh, Razad Chadwick for Life University. You know, taking over from uh, from Ross, uh, who moved over to Brown University, and um, you know some wonderful um, um, camaraderie, some wonderful um, friendship. You know, sometimes it's life-changing, lady. You know, we play in big games, win or lose. You know, you learn something, right? Absolutely, and you know what? This has been. A, a, just a wonderful game experience for BYU because they can only get better from here. Just very grateful for for Life University for coming out, showcasing their 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 strengths, um, just to help grow, just to help grow the sport out here, everywhere, not just here in Utah, but everywhere in, in the U.S. Yes, two two very wonderful programs. Uh, final score here is 34 to 19, and. Um, and, and credit to the university, to Brigham Young University, BYU, for supporting this event here on Southfield. And it's a wonderful setting, wonderful field, you know, and, and, and just, we are grateful, you know. The, I'm, I'm sure these this young women are very grateful to, to be able to play on the same field here uh, with all other sports that play on this Southfield. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful experience for them in, uh, in their college life. Right, and you know, despite this, you know, despite that this may be like a setback for for BYU, the energy, the energy that was just in the game, from both the players and also, on, you know, on the audience, it was just amazing, amazing to to watch and see, for on for for both groups. Yes, you know, Utah, uh, in in general, in uh, in the community, is a wonderful rugby community. It's very supportive of these programs. So, you know, let's shout out to our supporters and fans and, uh, and parents uh, and supporting the game of rugby. So we've got quite a crowd here today to support uh, both teams. And, um, you know, uh, not, not a lot of uh, major injuries, which is always, um, uh, 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 you know, a great thing. Uh, we have our share of bumps and bruises, but this game is very physical. And, and today, I, I'm... I can tell that both teams left it out on the field. And um, um, yeah, it's just, just, just fun to be here uh, from Southfield. And um, uh, with, the, with the final words uh, from me and Letty, and um, uh, we're just grateful. 34 to 19, the, the running Eagles over the Cougars. 
Uh, we look forward to, uh, I believe it's next week or the following week, they having their D1 Elite semi-final. I think both these teams have made it uh, to the next to the next level. So it will be fun to see them uh, compete again uh, uh, in, in the coming weeks. And um, Letty, I'm grateful to be here with you. Um, Same, I know we've likewise. shared the field with you <laughs> most of the time. And by the way, uh, Letty Hingano is, uh, is, 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 uh, has also played for the national team. And, and uh, we're grateful to have her here and supporting us at, uh, at BYU. Your it's final words. No, it's been a pleasure. It's, just, it's always fun to be watching um, just women's rugby and just seeing just the, the, the talent um, just, you know, in, 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 this, in this event. Um, and it just makes me really excited for, for, for the future, you know, for especially for um, just to see these players just kind of uh, continue to grow and also showcase um, what, what, what they have and their, and their, and their yeah, just makes me just really excited for, for women's rugby here in the U.S. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, there you go, uh, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I'm Tom Wonga, and here with Letty Ngano. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, we'll now return you back to the studio. Thank you very much. This is going to fly off. It already, it already broke it.